Hello and welcome to game 2 of RTSL Division 1, this time against RKT Science. Oh, my first game wasn't so hot. I really should have won this, but well, I lost against e Illusion. And interestingly, my today's opponent, RKT Science, suffered the same fate. So, one of us could end up at 0-2. And if I want to achieve anything in this sequel, I gotta start winning. And this hand does show certain promise for it. Okay, mm this doll always awesome. Mm, some decent ops. Very vulnerable to blockade, especially since I am going with the martial headline. I do have the goal, so there won't be a, a the goal that can cover and counter for it. Mm -hmm. Don't have neither NATO nor mm, Europe scoring, so hopefully he has one. Hopefully Europe scoring and nothing to fight. In Europe. Okay, yeah. That looks good. <clears throat> Naturally, uh, RSP blockade combo will be awful here. And I have both French cards, so <clears throat> I will have to suffer one of them. Probably the goal. And space the other. Ugh, okay. That's just impolite. I'm trying to set up a lasting Euro domination here. And here he is, messing up my game. Okay. These are relatively certain. Hmm, 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 hmm. Tricky since I might get Norat later. Yes, yeah, let's go with that. for him as well, it seems. Okay, going for Italy. Cool. Oh, shit. Ah, well, that's that. Okay, so that sucks. Which also means I'll have to delay playing Warsaw Pact in order to prevent an immediate mm, domination. Okay, let's spread. Asia at least. And it's Europe it's kind of lost. Right. I could have saved one VP in France. But as it is now, I will be able to play both French cards and get rid of them permanently. So yeah, that was unfortunate. Also a huge gamble on my opponent's part. Hmm. 
I mean, if he failed, I'll just score domination. Okay, I am obviously holding this tonization. I am delaying the goal. Oh, really? Okay, that's better. I wonder if it's possible that he has all three scorings. So that was a very, very quick middle east without even fighting for it. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's protect. Asia a little bit in that case hoping for a six didn't exactly work but alas okay. I need to slow down also probably I should have played Romanian abdication a little bit earlier first. I'll take the hit, accept the loss of two victory points, and even allow a Thailand coup. And so I really don't want to waste Warsaw Pact on some botched coup attempt. Hmm. Alternatively, I could go for India. Also makes sense. I do wonder, I mean I have to take either one of the other to set up a domination. India is obviously more vulnerable to in the Pakistani war. Thailand to a direct coup. Or to a takeover with Vietnam Revolt slash decal and duck and cover. Okay, let's risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> so, no Vietnam Revolt for our friend. <clears throat> he still might get deco, but no duck and cover. Okay, that means containment. Also, since well, blockade is always a threat, I really don't want to lose. Hmm, that's relatively harmless. Also, a good target. Nice. Okay. Okay, so a combo of Pakistan coup followed by the Pakistani war on India would be somewhat troubling. But other than that, looks good enough, I guess. I do wonder, did, did he really have no better headline than a coup target for me? I mean, I have these stall in Vietnam, and all the European cards are gone. Still, in the Pakistani war, yes, that's... Mm, 
must have been a better headline. So I'm going to assume that he doesn't have it. Well, the factors are gone, so he was perfectly free to use it. Uh, unless he wants to use it after a coup in Pakistan. Makes some sense, I guess. Okay, an interesting move would be to take South Korea right now. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting move indeed. Since he used US Japan for it, I think I'll just take Japan, re-establish the threat. Europe looks kind of scary, by the way. Hmm. Gain a window into Africa. Okay, apart from this town, which is obviously my hold card. Fidel will go to space. A war I'll have to suffer. Hmm, I do wonder. He's really very hesitant about making a coup in Pakistan. Very hesitant indeed. Mm hmm. I wonder if he has Truman. Let's find out. Oh sh shit, I did not see that coming. Damn it, I should have just allowed it. <laughs> I really should have just allowed it. Hmm. Just did a coup to protect... Protect the entire area. Okay. I forgot how vulnerable Malaysia is. Oh. Okay, yes. Rather serious about it. Ah, almost no chance of achieving anything. I gotta risk it, I guess. Yeah, so that was a spectacular screw-up on my part. 
<sighs> yeah. Yeah, the protect, whatever's left. Whoa! Well, that worked well. Sadly, I will have to give up Fidel since my ops are just very, very poor. Oh, maybe not poor ops, but way less than I need. Okay. Hopefully he has Asia. On the bright side, even if he has blockade right now, he's not going to play it. Which means I'll be able to hold... Whoa! Or is he? Did not see that coming. Not at all. Okay, taking France doesn't change anything. Mm, he might get decal, which means that talent requires extra love. Okay, <clears throat> so that was not very awesome. I got Asia. I got Indo-Pakistani war. I did not get decolonization. Hopefully he did not get defectors, or Europe scoring for that matter. Okay, headline is obvious enough. Let's try get the domination. That'll be kind of huge. Since if I make this roll, I'm in a very solid position. If I do not, <laughs> not so much. I don't think I've ever seen Europe that red after a Marshall headline. Uh, in early war, no less. He does have no rat, I think. Uh, well, I won't get it, of course. <sighs> okay, damn it, he went for it. Yeah, okay. And I got the war. Okay, so what do I need? to score a domination in Asia. Oh, and by the way, he does have Truman. So I'll leave France as it is right now. If he has Europe again, then okay, I look kind of silly. But, well, he might not. Okay, I assume Angola, Nigeria, Laos, Cambodia. Huh, hard to say. Algeria, perhaps. Followed by a coup in Panama. Hope he's not listening. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, no Europe scoring then. Glad to hear that, but why so low? Surely, okay, I will give you the war, probably. Surely you had and should have used a higher card. 
Okay, what's the status in Asia? That's the only region I need to worry about right now. 5-5, five, five. so that's a draw. Thailand looks kind of silly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'll definitely take Indonesia. As I have the China card, I expect I'll be able to trump any kind of attack on my position in Asia he is able to muster. Although I would really like to keep it for a while. <laughs> okay, what else does he have? Might have five year plan. I don't recall seeing it. Of course, Norad, as mentioned. Independent Reds, I don't recall seeing it so far. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Uh, what about their purge? Huh. I haven't seen it yet. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. That could be troubling. I really hope she'll, he'll use it for ops this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, one way that this thing can go is well, he uses a 3 or 4 up for Indonesia, maybe also Afghanistan. That's the one. Really? That's challenging. And I don't think I can allow that. I mean, I will get one through independent rats, so perhaps I can afford losing Turkey, but definitely not Greece. I guess it should have been Greece instead of Canada then. Okay, if he takes Turkey, at least I have a free moment to score Asia. Ooh, now that's... That's just naughty. Okay, Asia is gone. So, ops. Mm -hmm. Just to be sure. Might as well use Arab Israeli War. Making sure if Austria is not available 100%. <laughs> I 
Okay, I wonder, should I use Korean War right now? For Ops, but probably not. Probably best spaced. since it's nice to get a space lift off if he gets uh, to space 2 then well one small step becomes an option so okay the story so far okay what do you have whoa all right nothing he use you an intervention <laughs> And I'll just take Mexico. So far, so good enough, I guess. And now let's see options, options. Options are not that brilliant. IBM is a reasonable headline proposition, but well, what's my target? Frankly, I didn't see one. Except for the little guys in Africa, of course, but then he has a good good target. I don't think I want to allow that. Therefore, well, South America is free, not likely to get anything else. South is Asia, maybe, but I would like to give either Laos, Cambodia, or even Philippines a try. Oh, whoa, really? Very well then. You do your thing. That's annoying. Okay. Angola it is. If he rolled any lower in Panama, I would have gone there. But, uh, but as things are now, didn't really like the idea of potential failing. And these extra ops, extra influence in Angola will be useful. <clears throat> okay, so if I succeed in spacing, but no, spacing has to wait a little bit. I know it's a bit of a waste to use ABM against Angola. I mean, I could just use any 4 up to well, take it as long as it doesn't one. <laughs> but well, hmm, I might end up playing South African rest, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's focus on scoring regions. Dump the scoring. Really? That's generous. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, I think I can live without all of these cards. Mm, Europe, I will miss you. I would probably switch any of these cards for Muslim Revolution. Really? Just creeping like this? Nah, come on. Can't have that. So, score, space. I won't fight for the Philippines bonus since, well. My hand is too tied up in all these problems. Oh, access to Egypt. That's important. He's not having a very good turn, it seems. Okay, dump, space, play, coup, I guess. Oh, he did have it. Well, that failed, which means I will be playing South African Unrest. Hmm. How many scorings are there, by the way? Only Africa. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder if I get asked not, given how problematic this turn has been for him. I know he'll probably coup Saharan State right away. Just in case it's inconvenient for him. <coughs> Let's play into Africa and get access to Nigeria so beautifully underprotected. Hmm. Okay, no coup for you. Hmm. Okay, and no coup for me. Or I could use the China card. But nah. Taking Nigeria would give him a too juicy target. <coughs> oh yes! Solving all of my hand problems. Africa scoring. So solving of everything else. Brush war. Oh, flower power is active, right. <laughs> Okay, so Junta is always an issue, of course. Which means I have two choices here Bear Trap or Colonial Rear Guards. If I use Colonials, Nigeria, Cameroon, Zaire, South Africa, and he makes a coup in Nigeria, assuming a coup that is too high for me to react. 
Nah. Hmm. Damn it. I forgot about that. Shit. And I have to surrender brush war. And he will likely use it on Angola. Because why the hell not? Damn it. At least Bertrand will give me some time to handle it. And he misses. Which is very important. Because... I get to use Missile Envy on Zaire. These were some very strong discards. Okay. Damn it, maybe I should have allowed Candy, but well, Candy plus Gunman, especially in a, in a good game. Also, he just huh, got rid of two great events for free because of it. There's nothing I could have done against Missile Envy anyway. I had two three ups. He would get one of them. That's for sure. Okay, options here. Given that both Zaire and South Africa are about to be realigned. Not so hot. So either I use China to take Nigeria and go to Cameroon. Yeah, I'm greedy. Let's do that. I might lose South Africa. Might also lose Zaire by a simple takeover. Ugh. Yeah, so that worked. <sighs> Let's at least keep some battlegrounds unencumbered. Still. Getting a domination in Africa is not really an option right now. Okay, Africa is 1vp. Not interested. Now that is better, indeed. He had a really, really blue or white hand in 
bear trap was well, maybe not a mistake, but definitely a problem. Ooh. Oh, really? Well, that was nice. Mm hmm. is still active, isn't it? I wanted to go for OS found it, but special relationship is an opportunity. Oh, he could have Junta. Not a... Damn! We almost had a turn 6 reshuffle. <laughs> uh, what's the funny? That's funny is that he almost definitely has Junta. So what can I do about it? I probably have to use OAS to fix the damage that he does. Which makes special relationship my AR7 probably. Damn it. That way he will steal at most one country from me. Oh, he could do two if he puts influence in Argentina and then rolls very high, five or six. Ah, nuisance. Not now, even then. I put both influence in Argentina and I'm good. Mm -hmm. How about we have fun like this? That way you either protect Cuba or Argentina. Hmm. That's one option, of course. The other is just to put into Argentina. He'll fix it. And I will use Cultural Revolution to surround him. Uh, that's just Cuba, and that's Chile, and a shot at Argentina. <clears throat> hmm. he might have. We'll bury you, of course. Hmm. Okay, so the two options are set up against Cuba or put both in Chile. And set up against Argentina. Two. That's two battlegrounds. That's just one. Even if rather important. Okay, so things to do. 
in this term space ops ops as soon as possible mm-hmm Just to be sure. And very well then. Okay, I need to hurry up with the spacing also so that he wouldn't get to attempts. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And I'm holding Muslim Revolution. My position in the Middle East is well, too precious right now, too vulnerable to it, for me to jeopardize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that failed. I'm considering playing salt for the event. I'm taking the purge from him. That way I could use special relationship as a solid AR7 and get a pair of coups in Africa maybe. I don't have any brilliant Q target. I mean, Nigeria, of course, but I will just coup it back with OPEC. <clears throat> Alright, he did have a big guy. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Awi awi awi. Mhm. Mm that way he gets too. Yeah, so that was reckless. <laughs> for some extra protection, probably in South America. Although Panama is still around, so perhaps I don't need to protect Venezuela all that hard. Please fail, please fail. He didn't fail. Damn it, okay, I screwed up. <laughs> I 
really, really, really did. Nah. Event it. <sighs> Damn it, as always when I got distracted, started thinking about doing something fancy, I got punished for it. So, well, I do have the perch to show for it. It's not exactly worth losing Nigeria. Damn his high rolls. A clever move by him would be to break Brazil right now. If he has the ops for it, of course. Okay, did I just make Kitchen Debates for him a free card? Okay, that's a total of plus one. Even south at Europe. Guess I did. Still kind of weird. Plus two, draw. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, that was very poor judgment. That's a lot of firepower. Do Africa, really? Okay, first of all, <coughs> let's diminish his firepower. No, that's disgusting. Come on, really? Okay, that was friendly. And I got out. Okay, but how can I compete in Africa? Special relationship will probably be my AR7 again. Okay, first things first. Let's limit his firepower yet again. Since I really don't have great targets for Usuri in Asia anyway. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay, I need Milops anyway. Whoa, would I went for Cameroon? Had I known that. <clears throat> I 
Okay, he shouldn't suspect very much yet. I mean, okay, except for maybe using a high card. This was just a normal move. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need to protect it. Really? Okay. <coughs> now I have something I can fight against. Protecting Zaire, Nigeria and Botswana takes a 4-up. Not sure he has one. Granted, I don't have much more time. Okay. Hmm. Actually, even dominated damn thing right now. Hmm. No, gunman is not gone for good. I need to remember about that. Damn, his hand is so poor yet again. I'm really tempted to just go for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I think I will. Okay, coup in Saharan state doesn't change anything. Realignment in South Africa, same. And of course, he will have the China card and a lot of firepower in the next turn. And if I get Gunman, I'm in a pretty bad position. Ooh, we know a poor roll. Scoring, Willy, really. Shit. <laughs> okay. I might very well be screwed here. <laughs> Damn it. I can't afford to headline gunman. I could have Linguaslas, but that just seems silly. Okay. I'll play in a principled way and possibly lose in a principled way, although using the China card to get just a few more victory points was definitely not a principled move. Okay, I'll use gun glasnos as a discuss distraction though. Okay. Awful hand, by the way. At least now he has a choice. Although, unfortunately, his board and track position is so bad that he might decide to just go purely for DEFCON win.
Okay, what other region is not scored yet? Asia, South America, of course. Middle East, I cannot do much about. Oh, sneaky bastard. Yeah, so headlining glasnos wouldn't have worked. Either way, no way for me to get these extra two victory points. Nope. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's create an impression that I'm desperate for Italy, for Europe. Although, frankly, I probably just gave an impression that I'm desperate for DEFCON to stay a bit higher. <laughs> He's thinking good, good. Come on, I'm going for Europe. You need to stop me, you need to protect Italy. <laughs> okay, these kind of enchantments did not really go well in my last game. <clears throat> what? Really? Dude! Did you miss me getting death onto three? Don't mind if I do. Maybe he did miss it. Okay, so that makes it a rather decent game. With decent winning chances, and since well, there's no way he's calling back out of this one, no way he's getting Europe control. And, well, no way to lose on DEFCON anymore. So... <coughs> And he even failed with that. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... Vance, space... Suffer... That will be a problem in Africa. I'll need to cool him out of Cameroon first. Hmm. -hmm. Okay, so either he gets a lot of influence in Chile. All right, give up Brezhnev, which means I'll have to play everything, including Liberation Theology. I don't want to play Liberation Theology. Have your fun. At least it's still a draw. By the way, looking at South America and on my hand, I really should have overprotected Brazil. I 
I mean, if he decides to just walk into it right now, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, next move. A coup in Cameroon, followed by eventing solidarity, followed by, hard to say really, with Iran Contra, perhaps another coup in Cameroon, if the first one fails. Followed by Brezhnev going to... That's gone, that's gone. That's, yeah, pretty much gone. Middle East, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, this move shows him my weakness very well, very distinctly, or distinctively? No idea. Shows him that I have a problematic hand, so he's free to attack me in either Mexico or well, Brazil, since it's not scored yet. Scored yet. Maybe even in Asia. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we use solidarity. For protection over there if necessary. Mm, right you are, sir. Okay, where should I use Brezhnev? Maybe on Saudi Arabia. That would make Iran Iraq war more likely than flower power. <laughs> I could also go for Cuba even though it has scored already. Interestingly, yet again, it's the late war that's a problem for me. Okay, hmm. Damn it. That was rather important. Now he has plus one realignments against Zaire, Nigeria, and a plus two against South Africa. Well, he had, no, plus three against South Africa. But he had Europe. Hmm. This Warsaw Pact gun should be. Yes, I think I played it very early in the game. But no, I have the unrest. No, no, never mind. Okay, I don't have much to do any damage in Europe. Hmm. Ah, but still, it's Europe. It's important. Okay. The voice of America, right? That's good. Other notable events. Alliance for Progress can get me three or maybe more victory points. Arms race, maybe the same. OPEC, well, always nice to have. 
Since he can aim any card from my hand, let's start with Voice of America. Or oh, naughty naughty. Yeah, I think I'll just clear that. And Panama for Alliance for Progress' sake. <coughs> space. Which card will go to space? A little hard to say, really. <coughs> this is not really unplayable right now. Yeah, Liberation Clarity goes to space. Either Che or OPEC I will play. <clears throat> Come on, you know it, you just should, should just protect Iran and probably Panama as well. Huh, I might go for an early win if he tries that. It's Cambridge against Really? Going for a coup, are we? Okay. So no early win, it seems. Yes, I need a tree of to protect everything here. Well, I'm not using Alliance for Progress, since that's 3 VP. So, arms race it is. OPEC needs to be delayed. Uh, there is some chance I will get North Sea oil, of course. Right, right. I forgot about Poland. Damn this <laughs> zooming map. No matter. Oi, naughty, naughty. Alright, double. Forgot about that. Do something. Probably best in Africa. Damn it, I should have used Che earlier. That was a blunder. And now Che has a second decent target. Uh, yeah. Or does he? <laughs> mm -hmm. What's unscored? Middle East, Asia, and South America. Okay, South America looks solid enough. Whoa, that's unlucky. Okay, that gives up Zimbabwe.
but only possibly and nothing else. Also only possibly. <laughs> okay, might actually get something in Costa Rica. Hmm, Swana. Weird a little bit. No problem. Four. Okay, so just he so no no no. Our protection swindle, that is perfectly enough. And yeah, just to mess with him. And we are done. Most likely we are done, sir. Evil Empire. Empire for the win. We'll bury you. Will not be fast enough. Nothing will be fast enough. Interesting, that's the first time after Flower Power that I got a war card. <laughs> or maybe there was Brush War also, which he stole from me. No, I don't remember. Not that, that. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the game and tough luck. So you played a solid game, but well, you did blunder it, Gunman. Mr. RKT, sorry, RKT Science. Probably should memorize that. And clawing back a little from my well, grossly overrated rating. Well, see you next time. On RTSL with Shemovit! <laughs> or oh, just regular Twilight Struggle. Thank you.